everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today I'm going to bring you a very special package that I've received in the mail. So every month I do reading setups in my reading journal, every month, and this year was my very first time having a reading journal. So I really didn't know the ins and outs of, like, paper type, how many pages I would need throughout the year. So I started out with one that really wasn't the best quality. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I could not use stamps or darker colored pens because it would bleed through. So I would usually have to tape two pages together and it's a handy way to kind of get past that and you don't have to get like a a different journal. So that's what I did because I didn't want to get a new journal and start all over again. But this video is happily in collaboration with a Etsy seller. I am so excited to share this with you. So the Etsy owner is called Joie Things and she, all she sells is reading journals. I did a lot of research pretty much this entire year trying to find a journal that I would really enjoy using next year, really like it, one that would be good for stamps, for inking, for markers, for whatever I wanted to use to be creative in my reading journal. You can also use these for absolutely any type of journaling. But for me, it's gonna be a reading journal. I came across her shop and I love them. I think they're beautiful. And I really just enjoy seeing her journals. I did not wanna go through something like, uh, like the bigger companies. I wanted to go through a smaller shop. And so she so kindly, collaborated with me for this video and sent me a beautiful journal to share with you all and I'm just so excited I have not even opened it yet I have it here and I'm just so excited to share it with you all so let's go ahead and open it I already know what color it is but oh I love it wow it is a hefty hefty boy I was not expecting that heavy mine's like really light until I filled it up this is heavy and sturdy I can tell it's not one of those lighter journals okay I gotta open it now so after the wrinkling so this is what it looks like I was not expecting the stamping to be that big on here look how beautiful that is so I chose the one with the world map and the airplane flying around it but she has a tons and tons of different designs I'll put a couple of screenshots of some of her journals but they're beautiful and it's got a nice cloth leathery feel it has her company right on the bottom here joyithings.com so i will link both her website and her etsy shop she did say she prefers her actual website joyithings.com because unfortunately we know etsy does take a portion but if, if it is easier for you to go through there then she said feel free to so but she also happily sent me a coupon for 10% off any orders. So it is Katie10. That's it. Super easy coupon code. The coupon code works both for her Etsy and for her website. So either one, you get 10% off your order, which I think is so nice. I didn't even ask for a coupon code. She just happily sent it to me. And a total shocker, if you do buy from her shop, she, she will... I can't believe she did this, but I guess she has collaborated in the past and she kindly sent me a 5%. So if you do purchase something, I do receive 5% of the sales. It will not cost you anything extra, but I just thought that was so sweet and so kind of her. I was not expecting that, but it was just something extra that she did. So, so sweet. Thank you so much. And yeah, so I'm really excited to dive into this. Let's go ahead and check it out first before I even show it to you on the table. No, should we show on the table? Let's just sew it on the table. All right, so here is a close-up of the journal. I also brought in my journal that I'm using this year, which is just a one I found on Clarence at Michael's just to do a comparison as well. But let's go ahead and check this out. So a nice handy close-up. And first difference that I already noticed. Okay, so it is a little bit taller than my own journal. Not much, probably about a centimeter or two bigger. But, I mean, it could make a difference, especially when I make, like, my bookshelves and stuff. All right, so first difference. 
check out this flimsy elastic. Honestly, I've been kind of scared that it's going to break and pop off at me, but check out this one. This one is insanely thick. It's like a headband, like a literal headband. I love that. Okay, so that's like the first instance. Uh, this one, I'm going to base on heftiness. This one's almost full, and literally this one, my new one, weighs more than my one filled. That's kind of scary, but also really good. <laughs> All right, so also, if you notice, which I didn't even realize, this one has a pen holder. My old one doesn't. Nothing, nada, zip. <laughs> so, pen holder, extra fun. And I totally forgot, there is an added pocket back here. You can put washi tape samples. You can put stickers in here. Lots of different ideas. It opens up pretty wide in there. All right, so I wanted to do the pen test because I have a bunch of pens and markers and stuff that I would love to use in this new planner next year for my reading setups. So also one last thing that I wanted to show you. So these pages do lie pretty flat. They don't um, because the markers in the way, but <laughs> they lie pretty flat so you can get into the crevices as you're drawing and everything. I just find this really awesome. Okay, but I wanted to show you something else just really quick. Can you hear this? Hold on, let me find a blank page. Really thin and really flimsy. Check out these. I even have a hard time getting just one because they're so thick. That's cardstock, like literally cardstock. The dot grid is really nicely, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but really nicely, uh, easily seeable. And I just love the thickness. I think it's awesome. Last thing that I wanna mention before we do the pen test is that this is a 100, 160 GSM. That is the thickness of this paper. This is one of the thickest you can get in any journal. So I wanted to mention that I've been looking for one and at least 160, I think 190 is max, but I think 160 honestly is the thickest I would go. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna do all my samples in the back because I always have. So I'm gonna just take the back page. I'm gonna do the back dot grid because I don't really wanna test it on the back page because I'm worried that this page might be thicker than, not really, actually that might be thinner. All right, let's just use the last dot grid because I feel like that would be a better example. All right, so this is our sample page. Let's go ahead and test out all of these wonderful markers and pens that we're gonna be using next year. Right, so I finished the regular pens and I have a secret weapon. I'm going to see if they work on this nice thick paper. Are you ready for this? We're going to be trying out Sharpies. Yes, Sharpies. I just want to see if this paper can handle the big boys. So let's go ahead and try Sharpies. And last but not least, it is my stays on ink or stays on, however, however you want to pronounce it. Please don't mind my disgusting acrylic block. I use stamps a lot in my reading journal, so I needed to test out stamps as well. So I just put it down here. We're going to go ahead and smoosh it down pretty hard because I do sometimes press really hard just to make sure I get all of the edges. Of course, I miss a little bit, but I was at a weird angle. Okay. So let's zoom out just a little bit and see how it looks. 
All right, so these are the things I tested. I tested Micron, which, please forgive me, I think my Micron is dying out. But I tested Micron pens, distress markers, those are dying too. I think I've been storing them wrong, so that's my fault. But at least one worked, and the dark one. Tombow brush pens, zebra mild liners, which work as probably any mild liner would. Uh, Puska paint markers, because I really want to try those in my reading journal next year and Sharpies, as well as the ink from Stazon. So let me put my cap on. This is the ink that I use, so you guys can see which ones I mean. Jet Black, I always use that color. Might try a different one. All right, this is gonna be the reveal. It's gonna be scary for you and for me, because I don't know what it's gonna do. All right, let me make sure I get the last page, and here it is. Are you serious? Wow, I'm not hold I'm holding up my page because I don't know if my paint pens are dry yet, but there is nothing, nothing. I'm literally looking so close. There is no bleed through. This is where the stamp is from my stamp. There's nothing. There's nothing. I can barely see a very slight shadow from the Sharpie, just barely, like, it's not even shadowing. This is crazy. There's nothing on here. Like, nothing. I'm in shock and also, like, really excited about this. All right, so literally this journal can handle any pen or marker that you have. If it can handle a Sharpie, it can most likely handle an alcohol marker. I don't have any alcohol markers at the moment, but I think I'm going to go buy some right now because... If it handles a Sharpie, it'll handle an alcohol marker, I'm pretty sure. That's, that's insane. There is nothing. Okay, I'm so in love with this. <laughs> I think I'll be using these journals from now on as long as I do reading journals or travel journals or anything. That is incredible. Let me double check to see if these paint markers are dry. Yes, they are. Okay, so I can close it now. But, wow, this journal is my new favorite thing. I cannot wait to use this. This is this is exciting to me, guys. All right, so seriously, that was the best pen test I have ever seen. Wow, so if you would like to purchase this journal or a similar one, uh, don't forget that coupon code, KD10 for 10% off, and I will Put her website and the coupon code down in the description box below so you can check it out. I'm just amazed at what this journal can take. If it can take that, I'm sure it can take acrylic paint. Uh, watercolors is a little iffy because it's such a smooth paper, but you can pretty much use anything in here and it won't even bleed through. I am very pleasantly surprised and wow, I'm just so excited for this journal. So thank you for the Etsy owner. Thank you so much for sending this journal to me to share with everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one.